Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my spring everyday look and stay tuned and I'm going to show you how I achieve this look. So first, I use two primers. I use Benefit Professionals to fill in my pores around my nose and my cheeks and I use a mattifying primer on my perimeter and rub that all in on top of that because I have oily skin and I don't want to face. And then I have a lip mask that I put on to moisturize my lips while I'm doing other stuff to my face. And then I use Clinique foundation to swipe it all over and give myself a little tiger streaks. And then I take my Real Technique sponge and blend that all out and over my lips. And then I conceal my under eye with Max Concealer. It has a little orange in it so it's canceling out the darkness under my eye, which I really do like. With on top of that, I use the Kevin Aquan Skin on Hands to just brighten it up a little bit so my face doesn't look too flat. It looks a little, it has more dimension. And I rub that in and blend it out slowly, even though it looks quick and slow. And I go in with my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade to start arching out or drawing in my eyebrow. I'm following the shape of my eyebrow. I'm just extending it a little bit. I do the bottom and top. And um, I'm making sure everything is straight. I'm messing up a little bit, but I will clean that up with um, concealer. Then I blend my under eye with a sponge to make sure everything is even and it doesn't look too cakey. I go back to my eyebrows and fill them in with my pencil. I love this Milani pencil. It is life to me. And I just fill that in, brush it through to make sure it looks real and it doesn't look too harsh like a sh streaks of pencils because pencils can do that if you're not um, careful and just make my eyebrows come in a little bit more. So I take the same concealer that I did for my under eye, mix that up in my hand and start cleaning up my eyebrows so it can look a bit neater from the bottom to the top making sure I'm not cutting off too much um, artificial brow. I just want it to look real clean. I blend it out with my fingers just to make sure it looks good. Just and then I take my um perfection sponge because it has a little foundation and just make sure everything blends seamlessly and I just extend the eyebrow a little bit more because I lost some in transition. I use a primer for my lids because I do have dark lids, so I want to cancel that out. And it's NYX base primer and um, skin tone flush tone. I'll put the correct name in. And then I use my Ben Nile powder to set my under eye because I forgot. I don't know why my makeup is all over the place today but it's how it is on most days and then um i just blend out my prime a little bit more so uh, right now i'm contouring my face because i want my eyelids to set and i'm using cover fx in the darkest shade they have because i am a dark team person it's hard to find a contour so it is a foundation and not a contour but i use it as a contour and i contour my jaw my cheek my temples and my forehead and I contour a little bit of my nose just to straighten it out. Um, and then I use um, Sleek's Contour Kit in Dark and so a powder to blend it out and make it look more seamless and realistic. I do my jaw, my cheeks, my temples as you can see and just blend that out. It can look a little bit harsh but once I use my face powder all over, it tones it down and it comes out through very nicely. And I like the way it looks. So, yeah, I messed up a little bit and got some contour on my under eyes, so I just need some concealer to fix that. And then you see me right now taking my contour kit, um, the dark color, and cutting out my crease with that because I needed a dark shade to enhance the darkness that I wanted in my crease. I had a little bit left over for my skin, but I just wanted something dark. And I'm going back and forth and spreading that back in both eyes. And then I bring out my makeup beak and I'm going that in my crease and a little bit below my crease. I think it's Cocoa Bear. And then I go in with a nice little darky brown. It's actually a mixture of darky brown and a pink to go all over my lid. And then I'm doing my last contour step which is my nose and I take a pencil brush because anything bigger would just muddy up my whole face and my under eye brightness. So I'm going to use a pencil brush to blend that out. And then I'm using my NARS Laguna 
highlight my cheeks, nose, my upper lip, and above, above my brow just to give me a little shine. You know, it's rainy. It's a little rainy, but it, it'll still look cute. And then I'm setting my eyebrows right now with my NYX Brow Gel in dark brown. I love this stuff. It is my life. And right now I'm um, outlining my eyes um, with Ink Lodge 177 because I like my dark <laughs> gel eyeliners. I use the same things in every video, but it's just different ways. This um, eye is not extended. I didn't do quite a wing liner. It's just a regular outline. I try my best not to blind myself, but as you can see, you know, I'm just accident prone. Then I'm going in with my NARS mascara. I do not use waterproof mascara. I have short eyelashes, so when it comes to washing off, it takes too much work. So I do not use waterproof mascara, and I love this mascara because it works wonders for me. And I just put about two coats on each um, upper eyelid and one coat on my lower eyelid, which I feel like it does its thing. And then I'm setting my face with my BH Cosmetic just to like blend everything out and make everything look seamless. And as you can see, I'm beginning to align my lips with Chestnut from MAC, which I love. I don't know how anybody lives without this. And then I'm going in with Night Moth from MAC also, just to do right above it. And I'm using this lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a matte formula. And I'm just filling that in and going over the Night Moth and a little bit of the Chestnut. To blend that in, I'm gonna more more my lips, mix it together, just to matte it out. It's drying. I'm setting my face with Scandinavia setting spray. I love this stuff. I feel like it makes my skin glow. Everything looks perfect. Um, I go off camera to put on my lashes and my hair, and I'm showing you my finished look with close up and see how it looks. Like, if you like it, I like the skin. It works for me. I don't look oily throughout the day because of my setting spray. So if you like this look, you can also achieve it. You don't have to use the same stuff I use. I just like it. And that was my spring everyday look video. I hope you guys like it. Please um, like, subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments of what I did, write it in the comment section. If you want me to try a different look, let me know. And have a great day. Bye.